one unique feature one unique uh, feature of uh, the uh, mediterranean climate one unique feature of the mediterranean climate is dry summers and wet winters it has dry summers and it has wet winters that is the wind the rainfall is majorly in winter so major concentration of rainfall in uh, winters the major rainfall concentration is in winters major concentration of rainfall is in winters now a reason for uh, this uniqueness the reason for this uniqueness is apparent shift of the sun and shifting pressure belts and shifting pressure belts so kyu banta hai ye specific type of climate why do we have this unique climate where the summer is dry and the winters have major rainfall the reason is uh, this the apparent shift of the sun and shifting pressure belt now what do we mean by apparent shift of the sun and the shifting pressure belts so if if you have studied rotation and revolution in your 6th class ncert ठीक है दिस इज इक्वेटर दिस इज 23 एंड 1/2 डिग्री नॉर्थ दिस इज 23 एंड 1/2 डिग्री साउथ माय क्वेश्चन इज ड्यूरिंग योर इक्विनॉक्स ड्यूरिंग द इक्विनॉक्स द सन इज ओवरहेड एट इक्विनॉक्स इक्विनॉक्स दैट इज 12 डेज ऑफ 12 आवर्स ऑफ डे एंड 12 आवर्स ऑफ नाइट सो ड्यूरिंग इक्विनॉक्स व्हिच इज जनरली योर march and uh, september the sun is overhead at the equator right during the summer solstice for the northern hemisphere during the summer solstice for the northern hemisphere sun is at the 23 and a half degree north that is the tropic of cancer when it is the winter solstice for the northern hemisphere the sun is overhead at 23 and a half degree south theek okay. hai so during your during your equinox if this is the equator the sun is here okay during your northern hemisphere summers the sun goes up the sun goes up at 23 and a half degree north and when it is winters for the northern hemisphere that is december may for for northern hemisphere the sun is here and december is what december is summers for the southern hemisphere december is southern, uh, your christmas is celebrated in summers in australia right so here the sun is here the sun then moves up the, uh, then sun again uh, comes here the sun again comes here okay so movement goes from equator in the march theek hai to june mein yahan pe upar then again september mein niche and phir december mein yahan pe to march mein sun is at the equator june mein sun is at the tropic of cancer september mein sun again is at the equator and then december mein sun is at the 23 and 1/2 degree sorry so this movement of the sun from equator to tropic of cancer then again to equator again to tropic of capricorn is not real real mein sun upar niche nahi ho raha it is because of the revolution it appears that the sun is moving therefore there is a shift is the shift real no the shift is apparent so this apparent shift of sun that is a shift in the position of the sun how is the position of the sun shifting from equator 223 and a half degree north to equator 223 and a half degree south in the march okay the sun is at the equator during your june the sun is at the tropic of cancer 
then again september the sun is at the equator in the december the sun is at the 23 and a half degree south that is your topic of capricorn so ye movement jo ho raha hai sun ka ki sun overhead kahan pe hai kis latitude mein hai in different months of the year is called as the apparent shift of the sun so what is the apparent shift of the uh, sun apparent means not real okay the, in in reality it is not that the sun will be at the equator and then 23 and a half then equator then 23 and a half it is because aapka jo rotation aur revolution hota hai jo revolution hota hai uske karan sun lagta hai ki sun upar niche hua hai par jisko nahi samajh nahi samajh raha hai ki rotation revolution wo alag hai but itna samajhiye ki shift ho raha hai sun and the shift is not real the shift is apparent at the march and the september the sun is at the equator during your uh, june it is at the 20, 23 and a half degree north and during your december it is at the 23 and a half degree south theek hai i am making a statement the statement is the mediterranean climate is because of two factors one is the apparent shift of the sun and the second i'm saying the shift of the pressure belts so when i'm making this two statement before that i, I explained what is apparent shift of the sun now up because there is this apparent shift of the sun because there is this apparent shift of the sun this is because of the apparent shift of the sun aapke pressure belts move honge agar aapka sun upar gaya hai 23 and a half pe aaya to aapke pressure belts poleward jayenge northern hemisphere ke now what is happening is if this is at this is your equatorial low pressure belt this is equatorial low pressure belt let's say this is your subtropical high pressure belt right this is a normal situation wherein the equatorial low pressure belt is at the equator and the subtropical high pressure belt is at the 30 degree what kind of winds will we have here in this zone trade winds here right you will have trade winds what kind of winds will we have here the westerlies this is your normal situation in the normal situation where the uh, at the equator you have equatorial low pressure belt at 30 degree you have subtropical high pressure belt and at you have your subpolar low pressure belt okay this is a normal situation now when the sun let's say suppose this is a situation where the sun is at the equator this is a situation where the sun is at the equator now if the sun moves in north that is if the sun moves here okay this pressure belt the subtropical high pressure belt can it move north Zero degree, uh, thirty degree. So let's say uh, the subtropical high pressure belt is, uh, let's say, situated at a forty degree subtropical high pressure belt is at the a uh, forty degree. This is the normal situation. Uh, this is the uh, summer uh, solstice for the northern hemisphere. Can I say? at the summer solstice for the northern hemisphere uh, the subtropical high pressure belt is at 40 degrees the question is uh, summer solstice northern hemisphere ke liye jab summer solstice hai to aapka jo subtropical high pressure belt hai wo 30 degree pe na ho ke 40 degree pe hoga so if this is the case if this is the case and your equatorial low pressure belt let's say is at 5 degree ठीक है ना यहां पे कौन सी विंड ब्लो हो रही है ट्रेड विंड्स कैन ब्लो यर कैन आई से दैट द ट्रेड विंड्स कैन ब्लो यर नाउ अ थर्ड सिचुएशन पहले सुन लीजिए ठीक है ये है आपका जीरो डिग्री दिस इज ओके नाउ देयर इज अ विंटर सोलिस्टिस इफ देयर इज अ विंटर सोलिस्टिस in the northern hemisphere if there is winter solstice in the northern hemisphere then 
the location of the subtropical high pressure belt where will it be will it be at 20 degree north or will it be at 40 degree north only yes so if i say this becomes my subtropical high pressure belt let's say it is at 20 degree right so the areas above 20 degree latitude wo kaun se wind system mein aayenge here this is the zone of trade winds uh, the areas above the subtropical high pressure belt will fall under the westerlies okay now imagine uh, this is a normal situation where 30 degree subtropical high pressure belt this is uh, the summer solstice where the subtropical high pressure belt is at the 40 degree latitude north latitude and uh, this is a situation winter situation where uh, the subtropical high pressure belt is let's say at the 20 degree latitude right shift of the sun and the shift of the pressure belt the sun normal situation let's say if this is equinox here uh, this is your march and this is the uh, september one this is the summer solstice for the northern hemisphere the summer solstice for the northern hemisphere which is your june and this is the winter solstice for the northern hemisphere which is uh, december the apparent shift of the sun and these diagrams <laughs>